At the Cloudflare headquarters in San Francisco, there is a wall full of lava lamps called the Wall of Entropy. And they are not there to look pretty. They are there to secure the internet. Randomness is one, if not the most important thing for the security of the internet. But the problem is that computers cannot create randomness. The reason why we can pay online and send private data like passwords or personal information, even through public Wi-Fi networks without any fear, is because of encryption. When you go to a website and see that it says HTTPS in the URL, that means the website website is using TSL or SSL encryption, which are basically the same thing, except that TSL is newer. Without HTTPS, any interaction that you make with the website can be seen by the owner of the Wi-Fi, your internet provider, a hacker, or a government. They will know to which website you're talking to, to which page, what data you are sending them, and more. But if the website has HTTPS, all they will see is encrypted text. The way this encryption works is by using private and public keys. You can imagine the private key as the key for a lock and the public key as the lock. And that when you go to a website, the website will first give you two things, a box in which you can put your message and the open lock. All you have to do to send a message securely is to put the message in the box and lock the box with the lock that the website gave you before. Then when the message arrives to the website using the private key, the website will open the box and see the contents of your message. As you can imagine, private keys are very, very, very important. They should be top secret, of course, so no one can intercept and decrypt the messages. But even more important than that, they should also be random. They should be unpredictable. And like I said before, computers by themselves can't create randomness because they are programmed to follow instructions one after the next, which isn't a process that will give you randomness or unpredictability. You can't teach a computer how to produce randomness by giving it defined instructions and steps because by following these instructions and steps the computer isn't doing anything random. It's doing what you told it to do. This is why we have PRNGs or pseudo-random number generator. They are algorithms that use math to produce numbers that approximate the properties of random numbers, but that are not truly random. PRNGs need an initial value called a seed, and they use math to take that initial value, and from it they try to produce something random and unpredictable. If we were making the world's worst PRNG, our algorithm will take a seed and will add to it the current date in milliseconds, for example. Then it will divide the number by the length of the seed and finally it will multiply everything by the seed in reverse. It's a bad algorithm but you get the point. We take a seed, run some math on top of it and we get what looks like an unpredictable random number. Because the seed determines the output of the PRNG, the number it will give us is never truly random. So what we have to do is try to come up with a seed that is as unpredictable as possible. This is called Called entropy, which means disorder or chaos. But in cryptography, it refers to unpredictability. To get a seed as unpredictable as possible, computers use sources of entropy, like for example, the movements of the mouse of the user, the time that has passed since the computer was turned on, noise from the microphone or the temperature of the machine, etc. The point is, the seed needs to be as unpredictable as humanly possible. And this is why, if you go to the lobby of the Cloudflare offices in San Francisco, you will see a wall full of lava lamps called the entropy wall. And in front of them, a webcam that is recording this view 24-7. Lava lamps are random. The lava never takes the same shape twice. So whenever Cloudflare needs a seed for the private key of an SSL certificate, which they do very often since they issue millions of them, the webcam in front of the lava lamp will take a picture. The pixels in those pictures will be turned into numbers. And those numbers will be then mixed with other data from two separate computers to create a seed that is as unpredictable as possible. The offices in London have a webcam taking photos of pendulums connected to pendulums, double pendulums, that have mathematically unpredictable movements. And in the Singapore offices, they have a tiny ball of uranium, a pellet, and a Geiger counter that measures the release of isotopes over time, or radioactive decay, to get the random data for their seeds. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. I love to geek out over stuff like this. Maybe I'm a mega nerd, but I just find it super cool. Tell me in the comments if you believe in randomness. Does randomness really exist, or is it all predetermined? If you think about it, is it dice roll random? If we could control all the factors, the turn of the hand, the speed, atmospheric pressure, air current, everything, wouldn't the result always be the same under the same conditions? And if so, does randomness exist or is it all deterministic and there's no free will? These questions remind me of an awesome series called Devs that you have to watch if you're interested in this kind of thought experiment. Devs is about what would happen if we could build a machine that can consider all the variables of a dice roll. The speed, rotation, air humidity, 
etc. That machine, being aware of all the inputs, could predict an output and predict the future. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching as always. On your comes and hago, salam hamida. See you on the next one. Dame bye bye. Ah, say bye bye. Is it? Say bye bye. Bye bye.